They mock God and they look at porn. They smoke weed. They're losing their mind. They're losing their, 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 their stability. The Bible says they're enticing unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetousness, greed, greedy for gain of sexual morality, greedy for the pleasure of their flesh. They're not, they're not zealous for the word of God. They're not zealous for righteousness. They're zealous for beer drinking. Isn't that what, what this stuff is going on? It's another, it's another opportunity to get drunk out here and defile your liver and defile your mind and defile your heart. It's nation. It's nations in trouble. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ wants to forgive. Jesus Christ wants to blot your sins out. He does not want you to have to pay and be held accountable. See, there, the God sent his son to die. Jesus took our, our, our sin upon himself. Oh yeah, man, I know you're deceived and of the devil now. Jesus wants you to come home. Jesus wants you to come to the, come to the cross, the place where you humble yourself. Place where you humble yourself. You're not strong enough. You're not good enough. All your righteousness is filthy rags, tainted. Your sin has marked you. Your guilt, your shame, the shame of your sin. The degradation of your mind. Professing to be wise, it became fools, it says. They changed the, the glory of the incorruptible God for an image, an image made like corruptible man. Imagery of sin on the internet, drunkenness, sexual morality. God, it says, gave them over to uncleanness for the dishonoring of their bodies amongst themselves. Dishonoring their bodies. Even though they knew the truth, they exchanged it for the lie. They exchanged the truth for the lie. The lie, the devil, right there, the Santa Claus, the lie. It's not old Santa Claus, man. But there is a God in heaven. There is, there is, there is a God of Jacob. There is a God of Jacob. There is a Jesus Christ that died for sins. Will you believe? Will you build your house on the rock? Or will you, will you end up straying from God? End up in the deception. End up in the fall. Oh, the Bible says they're going to stumble and fall. The people are going to fall down, be broken, it says, be snared, taken, caught. There's coming a judgment, folks. You not see? You not see what's coming? You not see what's going to happen to the people? I used to, but now I fear God. Now I, now I love my neighbor. I don't want to defile my mind. You young people are in danger, man. Don't be like, don't be like your parents that are doing this. Don't be like your dad. Don't be like your, your uncle. Don't be like your cousin. Your older cousin that looks at porn, smokes weed, tries to give you drugs. Be like God. Be like Jesus. Don't be like anybody. Okay, you still have influences in your life. By, you know, that are influencing you to do the wrong things. Even these pastors at these churches that, that, that are covetous. They, they exploit people by, by deceptive words, it says. But their judgment has not been idle. Their destruction is not slumber. I'm talking about these pastors that don't care about you. They want you to fill a pew. They want you to come to their church. Jesus wants you to come to godly sorrow. No, I'm preaching the Bible. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10. Godly sorrow. I, I, am, I am with Christ who judges. Yes, because he's coming to judge. He's coming to judge. You should fear God. You don't fear God. Why? I don't know. Oh, it's not good to not fear God. It's not good to not tremble before the, your maker, the one who creates the heavens and the seas. What if you get judged? What if you get judged and die without Christ? What if you get judged and die in your sin? What's going to happen to your soul? What's going to happen to your destiny when you end up in hell? You end up in the lake of fire. Fear God. Fear God lest you be destroyed. God does not want to destroy you. God does not want to judge you for your sin he wants to give you mercy mercy through the cross maybe tonight's your last chance to hear the gospel to obey the gospel what if that's the case what if you die and you end up in hell and you remember you say man that preacher he warned me he warned me to turn from my sin and I wouldn't do it I wanted to stay drunk I wanted I wanted to keep drinking how foolish how foolish to lift up beer over God, to lift up your sin over God. It's, it's, you know, the Bible says it for this light affliction, because I tell you right now, 
Following God is not an easy thing. Living for Jesus Christ, th this, is, this has been the hardest year of my life. But you know what I remember? For this light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh in us, worketh in us an eternal weight of glory. And you, 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 trade, you trade light, temporary affliction for eternal glory. You know what you're doing, sir? You're, you're trading temporary light pleasure for eternal damnation in hell. That's what you're doing. It's foolish. It's foolish. It is the epitome of foolishness. There's not a single thing that you can do is more foolish than not live for God, the one that created you. Look around. He created you. He gives you, he gives you breath in your lungs. He causes your heart to beat. The Bible says that if he, should, if he should shed his heart upon it, he could call his spirit and his breath back and you just turn to dust. What's God's mercy to you today that you're still here? Another chance to hear the gospel. Who's going to stand with Jesus tonight? Like, 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 uh, like Moses said, who is on the Lord's side? Who's on the Lord's side tonight? Is there anybody? Is anybody? Is God going to find faith in your heart? Is God going to find faith when the Son of Man returns? Is He going to find faith in you? We know hell is enlarging itself. We know there's a lot of people not going to have faith. But will God find faith in you? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You can point to faith. You can see faith. You know, faith, faith, is, faith is when everybody's telling you to do something but you said, no, I'm going to stand on God's. I'm going to do what God says. That's faith. This is the things that men, men and women, it says they, it says they, they, uh, they were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. But look around now. Look around now. You're willing to spend $40 on a sweatshirt if you're a little cold, right? These men and women, they, they rejected deliverance from torture so they could have a better resurrection. That was their faith. What was your faith? Where's your faith tonight? It used to be that I was confident that everybody in this country had heard the gospel. But I don't even know. You guys heard the gospel before? You heard about Jesus Christ? You, are you guys saved? You're born again? Have you, are, you, are you following Jesus tonight? Living your life for Jesus Christ? Redeemed? You have a testimony. It means you were one way and God saved you and now you're another way. He took out your heart of stone, right? That's what the Bible says, that a heart of stone was unable to hear and heed the things of God. And he put in a heart of flesh that can hear and heed and understand the things of God. There's no understanding of God out here. I give, you, I give Bible verses and people reject it. Guys, judgment day is coming. Man's life is but a vapor. Man's life is but a vapor. It's appointed unto man once to die and after this comes the judgment. Where will you be when you die? How do you know? The Bible says that you must, you must repent and believe the gospel. You gotta repent. You know, it's, it's, real, it's, it's crazy to me how, how people come out here to celebrate a lie, to celebrate Santa Claus, and we come out here to tell you the truth. And parents, they hide their children like we're the bad guy. Like we're the one lying. We're the one telling you the truth. Jesus is the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. The parents, they, 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 they stop their children's ears from hearing the gospel. How wicked is that? They don't want their children to hear about Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way. Jesus said, enter in as a straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life, and few there be that find it. See, Jesus Christ is that gate. You have to seek the Lord. Stop lying to your children. Tell them the truth. All liars will have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. 
Satan has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus has come to give life and life more abundantly. Are you alive? Are you dead in your sins? Jesus said you must be born again. The Bible says that no drunkards will inherit the kingdom of heaven. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven, neither fornicator, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And I will profess unto them, Depart from me. I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. Jesus said, Whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them shall be likened unto a wise man who built his house upon a stone. The rain descended and the flood came and the wind blew and it beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. But whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand. The rain descended and the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon that house and it fell. And great was the fall thereof. Oh, God is holy. God is so wonderful. I love his, his name being on my lips because he has done so much in my life today. And he keeps on manifesting himself every day to me. I know that God is with me. He has shown me over and over again that I don't even need to worry. I don't need to worry about a situation if I'm gonna be late, how this is gonna work out. Because God has shown me that he's with me and he wants to be with you. But sin separates you from God. I'm nothing special. I wasn't born a Christian. I was, I was a sinner for many years. And then I was a religious sinner that went to church. Unsaved, unregenerated, on my way to hell, sitting in church because I was not born again. Born again. Jesus Christ says, unless you are born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Born again, that's the question. I'm, not, I'm never going to ask somebody oh, what denomination they go to. I don't care about that. I care about are you born again? Do you have the spirit of God living inside of your life? You see, the, the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey him. God, he came to tabernacle with his people. Jesus manifested himself in the flesh to be with us here in flesh. But then he went back to his glorious kingdom and he sent his Holy Spirit. So his spirit would be inside of us and would dwell with us and walk with us in our life. Through every moment in our life. God is with us. God is with me. He's with me right now. So I'm born again. Not, not, not of my own goodness. Not of my own Amen. goodness. Yes. I'm born again because of the mercy of God. Amen. Because I humbled myself and I cried out for mercy. I asked God to bless me with faith in Jesus Christ. Bless me with the fear of the Lord that I might have a heart of wisdom. That I may may be blessed with understanding of the Holy One. God, God he wants to give you His Spirit so that you can be born again and enter into the kingdom of heaven. If you are not born again, you will go to hell. Does not 
matter how good you are, how much money you give to the church or you give to charity. If you are not born again of the Holy Spirit, you will end up in hell. This is important. Born again. See, God, he wants to give us his spirit. God, he, he causes us to walk in his statutes, to keep his judgments, and to do them. I love being with the Lord and walking with the Lord because there is there is cleanliness, there is security, there is honesty, there is truth, there is perfection when I walk with God. You need Jesus. Repent of your sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and repent of your sins and God will give you his, give you his spirit and you shall be saved. See, there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. But if you're not in Christ, you're lost and you're condemned already. And Jesus Christ came to save you, to deliver you, to set you free. He died. That's why he died for your sins. And he rose again the third day. And there's power in the blood of Christ to cleanse of all unrighteousness. And this is the way to eternal life. See, eternal life is in Christ. You need to be in Christ. Whoever has Jesus Christ has eternal life. You don't have Jesus, you don't have eternal life in you. You don't got life in you. You're, you're dead. And Christ came to give you life and life more abundantly. Joy is in Jesus, is in Christ. You, you can receive joy and righteousness and peace. It's a gift. Something you don't deserve, but God gives freely to them that believe. Because God is good in that he demonstrated his love for you, that he died for you. This is the greatest love that anyone has shown. To lay down, he laid down his life for you. Jesus Christ laid down his life for you. So you could be free. So you could have eternal life. And you could have life more abundantly in this life. Not live in death, but live in a victory. With a clean conscience, you know. A pure heart and clean hands. See, only the blood of Christ could cleanse you. Because the, the, you know, the wrath of God you know, fell upon Jesus so you could be free. You know, there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ. His judgment that you deserve fell upon Jesus. He took you, what you deserve upon himself so he could set you free. And if you would believe and repent, God would give you eternal life. He'd give you forgiveness, the Holy Spirit. He'll give you the Spirit of God. He'll give you power to become the sons and daughters of God, to them that believe. But if you don't believe, you're condemned, and that's the greatest sin. Your unbelief condemns you. It's not that God wants to condemn you. God's will that all would come to repentance. Your unbelief condemns you. So don't harden your hearts, but believe on Jesus. He's the one that cares for you, and it says you can commit your soul to Him because He cares for you. Commit your soul to Him. Commit your life to God. You know, submit to God, resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. That's the secret to being, uh, to overcome is to submit, submit to God. But, you know, the world cannot receive Christ because they says they have not known Him nor seen Him. So you need to see God. You need to humble yourself. You know, God gives grace to the humble. So humble yourself. Seek the Lord. Seek for a revelation. You know, revelation of Jesus Christ and what the cross represents. You know, you need a revelation. You need your eyes to be opened. You know, because you're blind. You've been blinded by the, the God of this world is Lucifer. He's blinded this world and the world is deceived. They think they're all right, but they're not. Now without God, you're not all right. Everybody needs Christ. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all need to be cleansed. We all need the spirit of God. So seek the Lord before it's too late, you know, while you have, a, while you have time. Because we have time in this life. Today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord with all your heart, and God will reveal himself. You know, blessed is the man who hungers and thirsts for righteousness, for they will be filled. You know, you need to have a hunger and thirst for God.